I keep saying, starting to say things, and then that resolves itself as I'm talking, and I have to stop my sentence and be like, never mind, and then say the sentence again. So, sorry about that. I'll try to finish the sentence before resolving that sentence. Hopefully. If I can remember. I'll try to remember. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I'll try to remember to finish the sentence before that Roly Foley died or whatever. No, that was a silly joke that I just made. Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Chrono Trigger. Now, yesterday came out with Colonel Sanders, the I Love You Colonel Sanders game, the dating sim. And boy howdy was that one of the weirdest experiences I've ever had. So, go check that out if you haven't seen it. It is a wild experience. I highly recommend it. It was so weird. I know I've said that this game is weird before, but that was next level. I truly couldn't believe what I was seeing. Uh, time update, it is now 1.30 in the morning. When I was doing the Colonel Sanders game, I, I took a break and I went out and got myself some food. And I have a story to tell that I didn't tell on the Colonel Sanders game because I didn't want to distract from it, but I'll get to it. Um, this time we're playing Chrono Trigger though, and I think I'm going to get into a fight here. Whoa, alright, those guys were not there before. Tempurite? Alright, let's see what a Cyclone... Oh, I can't get both of them. I'm assuming that means that I can't then use, um, uh, uh, Fire Whirl. Hey, that did a lot of damage. All right. Well, why don't I do that with Ice with this one? Hopefully these do all similar damages with the magic, because I don't like that only one of my characters does- Yeah, there we go, good. Uh, only one of my characters will do so much damage that it's good. I want them all to do so much damage that it's good. Does that make sense? Probably not. Um... Anyway, so I, I went out to get food to eat. I went to McDonald's. Um, spoilers. Not spoilers, but, you know, there, there it is. But I, I, I got the food. I was coming back here to finish recording, you know. And what happened was I was in the rightmost lane. Picture this in your mind. I was in the rightmost lane. This is right to me. It's probably left for you. And there was a truck, a big truck, in the left lane. We we're both going in the same direction. And... At, in front of me, there was another car. It turned into a parking lot. It turned right into a parking lot right in front of me. And immediately, the car, the truck that was in front of me sped up to get, to get in front of where I was and then turned right. I don't mean changed... Oops. I don't mean changed lanes to the right. I mean actually turned from the leftmost lane into the parking lot that I'm in. What, that I was right next to, you know? And... Like, I seriously had to slam on my brakes, and even then I was going to hit this guy, so I had to turn, like, rapidly and get, uh... Hold on, actually, now I'm gonna use my fire whirl because these guys are close together. Um, I, I, I noticed that I was still approaching him. I was gonna hit him like this, even though I was slamming on my brakes. So I had to actually, like, turn into where he was going, and we literally got so close, I honestly... Oh, no! Marl! I honestly thought that my, um... My, my, our cars were gonna hit, our cars were gonna touch, and that I was going to get got. Luckily, we didn't, but we were inches away from each other. It was so scary. And I was playing it back in my mind, like, did I do something wrong? Was I misremembering the situation? I definitely was just in my lane going forward, and this guy was in the left lane and just decided to wrap around and, and, and just turn to the right. It was very scary, very weird, but... This is what I keep trying to tell people, is that when you're driving a car, it's not good enough to just say that I'm a good driver and that I'm fine because I'm not breaking any rules or whatever. You have to pay it. This is bothering me too. You have to pay attention to every other driver on the road. Everybody else can make mistakes and that means you have to be vigilant. You have to be ready. You have to be watching everyone. Boy, this is actually, I just realized, not doing a lot of damage. Okay, good to know. I, I've been too wrapped up in my story, so... Okay, all right, all right, fine, fine, fine. I'll do a fire whirl. See if I care. I'll do a fire whirl. Anyway, that was terrifying, and I'm really glad that it's over. <laughs> um, but in terms of the channel, I, I didn't get hit, by the way. There, nothing else happened after that. He didn't, like, stop and, and collect information order because we didn't touch. We didn't collide. So he just dr He literally was trying to turn right, and then once that happened, and I, like, slammed on my brake and turned to the right, he just, like got into the right lane, he like was turning right and then just stopped and went forward and then just drove off. So 
Real scary stuff. I didn't love it. I gotta say. Here, Mara, why don't you heal yourself? And then heal Luca twice. And yourself again, and then Chrono. Great. And then you're doing all right with magic. She uses magic very, like, infrequently, so I'm not really wor- Cure? Heal ally more. <laughs> this is heal ally some, and this is heal ally more, so that's good. Uh, after that, I came here, and I recorded the Colonel Sanders game, which was yesterday's episode. Now I'm recording Chrono Trigger, and then tomorrow is the new episode of something new. And I don't know what yet, but I do know what yet, because I'm going to record another episode of The Longing. Only one more, I think. I, I, I don't really consider that to be a horror game, and since it's horror months, I don't really want to spend a lot of time playing games that aren't horror games. But, uh... That game I'm really interested in. Whoa, these guys. I don't know what these guys are. They're like pink blabs. What do we got? Roly poly. Oh, I fought these before. Okay, good. That's fine then. Um, let's wait. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a fire whirl on. Hey, I can do three of them. Hell yeah. And then you do that one. These guys have very little damage. So this will destroy all three of these. Unless they're resistant to fire. They're not. Okay, we're good. Never mind. Crisis averted. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do another episode of The Longing. I enjoy that game. It hasn't gotten a super high response. Although, to be fair, this series also hasn't really gotten a super high response. There was one episode that I put out that didn't get any views for, like, three hours, and then it got, like, three views or whatever. Which is, you know what? It's par for the course. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and be upset about my low view count, because that's just how things go. Eventually, we'll get big, right? All right. Yes, we will. Eventually, we'll get big. Um, ooh, bats. This is positively batty. Yeah, so what, am I correct? Whoa, what's happening now? Oh, I missed, okay, good. Uh, am I correct in that I can't just do standard attacks to these things? Like, Chrono will miss if I try to attack? Am I right about this? Let's see. No, but it did do very little damage, so maybe there's something there, I don't know. I'm gonna use a Fire Whirl, I think. That's probably the best course of action. Eventually, once Chrono's thing rises or fills in or whatever. It's so... Oh, I can only do one! I can only do one! Bitter. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I went after the one that I just hit. Actually, that might be good. There's a lot of thoughts to be had on the subject. Oh, it was good. Maybe? Why do they do so little damage? I don't remember them doing one or two damage before. Are, do these guys have high defense and... I didn't know it? That sucks. I do like they're missing a lot, though. But yeah, I'm gonna do The Longing. I enjoy that game a lot. Ooh, lightning. These are uh, flying types, so this will be super effective, I think. Um, yeah, I enjoy that game. It's very interesting. I, and that's what I've been saying, is that I'm trying to find the most interesting game in the world. So, that game is very much a contender for it. I have never played a game quite like The Longing. Uh, so I'm gonna play more. My idea for that game is that I'm gonna play it sporadically as I as time goes on, because if you haven't watched that episode, those episodes, the thing about that game is you start it and then a timer starts. And as you play through the game, different little timers go on where you press a button to open a door and the door will be open in two hours, but that progresses in real time. So you, you have to wait. And so what I'm gonna do is do stuff in the game and then wait and then do stuff in the game later on and that'll be another episode, but it's not an ongoing series. That makes sense, right? It probably does. So that's kind of what I, I'm, I'm, I'm up to. Oops, I walked up to this thing. It turns out to be one of those gin bottles, which is okay. I'm not worried about it. I just wish that I knew better about what, what to do and what not to do. Ow. Because I don't remember which things don't take physical damage and what things don't take magic damage. I don't think anything doesn't take magic damage. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. And I wish that these guys were closer together. Man! Look at that, it's so close! My sword is definitely hitting that guy. It absolutely should, should be, should, should go, should do, should be. You know what, I'm gonna not do any more dual attacks. I'm only going to do, uh, uh-oh, I'm out of magic for Chrono! Never mind. I'm gonna attack him. <laughs> Everybody else though, I'm gonna use the, uh, tech, and I'm gonna use the magic that I got. Yeah, cause Chrono's doing alright. Everybody else though, like I have ice, I'm gonna use it on the gin bottle. 
Because I think, I think that they don't do physical damage very well. Maybe only certain types... Never mind. I was going to say maybe only certain types of magic will work on certain enemies. And maybe that's true, but just not here. These guys are fine. I can, I can do whatever I want to these guys. Wait a second. Magic. Wait a second. Damage. Wait a second. <laughs> this. Everything that I'm doing now, that's what I'm referring to. Nothing nefarious. Don't get any ideas. Yeah, so uh, today is the uh, today is Sunday night. If you're if you're keeping track, today is Sunday night. I recorded all those other episodes of this uh, either last night or earlier today, and then I did the Colonel Sanders thing. That seriously took like five hours to record. Let's see, I started at seven, and it was about I feel like it was about midnight when I finally finished. So seven. Yeah. Wait, what's this now? It's sealed with a mysterious energy. All right, well, let me through. Okay, let me through, though. All right, well, well hold on a second. We can switch allies on the spot, so... Maybe Robo will be able to do something. Nope. All right. Sorry, Robo. Thanks for uh, popping on out of the void for me, but you're going to have to go back. Sorry, Luca. How'd you enjoy the void? How's old man? Old man! Boy, that was weird, right? How there's just a void that I can send my friends to at a moment's notice. You know what I'm like? I'm like that uh, kid from that Twilight Zone episode. Remember the one who was just like sending people out into the cornfield and turning people into jack-in-the-boxes? That was a weird episode, you guys. That was very scary. I didn't like that. I mean, I liked it, but I didn't like it. You know what I mean? Uh, what, what else was I talking about? Yeah, The Longing. So, ongoing series on and off. Just like one episode every now and then. Um, apart from that, the next game that I'm going to play, do I want to talk about it now or do I want to wait till the next episode? I'll wait till the next episode. I'll, I'll, I'll tease it. It'll be tomorrow's episode. I don't remember if these guys are... Okay. Yeah, never mind. I was going to say, I didn't remember if these guys were, um... They, they didn't take physical damage, but they seem to, so not worried. I keep saying, starting to say things, and then that resolves itself as I'm talking, and I have to stop my sentence and be like, never mind, and then say the sentence again. So, sorry about that. I'll try to finish the sentence before resolving that sentence. Hopefully. If I can remember. I'll try to remember... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I'll try to remember to finish the sentence before that Roly Foley died or whatever. No, that was a silly joke that I just made. We can all agree. What, have I, what else have I been doing? I don't know if I talked about it. I watched Color Out of Space, the Nick Cage uh, Lovecraft movie. It's on Shudder. I watched that. Very weird movie. A lot of weird media in my life right now. Chrono Trigger. Uh-oh. Bats! No! Uh, Chrono Trigger. I love you, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> a lot of just weird stuff that's been going on with me, but that's good. I, I think I talked about The Last of Us. I played that. Actually, I played a little of that today. I was doing this show, and then before I did Colonel Sanders' game, I uh, went out and, and, and just kind of relaxed playing games. I don't know what to do right now. I think I want to do magic attacks. So that's that's what I'm going to do right now. Because I don't think these Duke guys do physical damage really well. But yeah, I was back there. I, I was playing that game. I'm not going to do like an ongoing report on my progress of that game. Just because the, I don't know. Big games that are ongoing, it doesn't seem I'm like, I'm at this point, you know? I did this. It's not like a segmented thing like the podcast that I listen to or TV shows where I'm like we finished season whatever, and now I'm whatever. So, I'm, 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 I'm in the middle of that game. I don't know how much longer I have left. I've been playing for a couple hours now. I'm enjoying it a lot. I've gotten to the point where I'm enjoying it. I still don't love the way Joel moves. I think the game... All right, here's what I keep going back to. And I'm sorry to bring this up again and talk about this again. Magic scarf. Hold that thought. I want to know what this is. The hell is the magic scarf? Magic plus two. Everyone can use it. Well, I won't. I will ignore it because it's an accessory, which means I'll have to take away one of my other accessories, and I don't want to. So, that wraps that up. But yeah, I, I, um, I, the game desperately want Last of Us, I'm talking about. It desperately wants to be a stealth game like Batman, the Arkham games, but it doesn't have the control that those games do. With Batman, you can immediately set up some kind of trap or, or elaborate whatever, and then run away as Batman. You can just like book it somewhere else. You can like use your grappling hook to just get out of there. Wait a second. Now what? 
Now I don't know what to do or where to go. Uh, I'll finish this thought. Yeah, I it doesn't it doesn't let you move in the way that Batman does, even though it wants to play like Batman. So like you get these these nail bombs and you can set them up, but then like you set those up and then it immediately goes off because the only place you can set them up really is throwing them in front of you when there's bad guys there. And then it'll immediately blow up. There's not really, it's not very easy in that game to like place something where you know enemies will be and then move to a different area and watch the carnage happen, like in Batman. So, I, I don't know, I, I get frustrated with it because it wants to be something that it isn't. And it just clearly could be if it introduced a little bit more of that component. Like if you could climb up on top of a thing and be hidden from the clickers or whatever, that would go a long way in, you know, in, in, in that kind of stealth combat where you could set something up and then hide and look down on it. Or you could see the motion, the path that these clickers take and then set stuff up that way. And I don't know why I'm, like, criticizing a, a game that came out in 2013, so it was seven years old at this point. But that's just, that's just what I, that's, that's just what I'm going through right now. And I'm sorry about that. But back to this game that came out probably 27 years ago. Oh boy. I don't know where to go. So I thought that I was supposed to go up here. It's possible that I still am. I believe that going out and going back in again means all the enemies are going to reset annoyingly, but... Oh well. I'll, I'll skip through them just because we've already seen them. I just don't know where to go because I've been everywhere. I, I've explored everything there is to explore. Except... This tiny area, which does nothing. <laughs> Great. Alright. Well. I'm just going to look around see what there is to see. Oh, okay. Ah, here we are. Yeah, I did it. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I'm in the water now. That's... That's handy, I guess. Huh. No, I kind of... Kind of stopping a little bit here. It's a little weird. I don't think it knows quite what to do with me. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. Oh, God. Alright, but there's got to be a, a point to this, right? Other than just for fun... For funsies. Uh-oh. What if there isn't? What if I'm stuck? Still. Oh, all right. Okay. Wait. Hey, all right. Is it? Is it? Hey, all right. We did it. We made it somewhere. Awesome. Okay. We'll save. Do I have a shelter? Do I need a shelter? How are my, how are my people looking? Ooh, Kronos look better. Yeah, everyone could kind of use some. Yeah, I definitely need to use something because magic is nothing for Chrono. I do have a shelter. I have two of them. So I'll use one. Awesome. Great. Okay, so everyone's back up to full snuff, as they say in the biz. And uh, I know it's a little early, but we'll end the episode because I, 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 got, I got a feeling something's coming up. If it's giving me a save point, then that means the future holds something. And uh, we'll do it in the next episode, two days from now. Tomorrow is the longing. I'm going to do it. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun and cool. So see you then, everybody. I hope to anyway. Goodbye.